Are you a hobby baker or are you a business? Where do we draw that line? This issue causes absolute carnage, confusion, conflict online uh, while people rip the absolute shite out of each other over the definition. I've seen the phrase, I'm just a hobby baker used as defence for not having to give a refund, right? And you know that I'm not about that life. We take responsibility here, right? Um, I've also seen registered cake makers be so rude to people for choosing that word hobby uh, to describe themselves. Um, and literally, they're just they're so they're so early in their journey they don't understand yet what the difference is. I'm talking with my hands about Irana, <laughs> right? It seems to bring the worst out of each other, um, and it's because it, it's upsetting. It's quite an emotional issue for us all. Um, so as usual, I'm here to give you the facts and to help you to decide for yourself, right? Help you make your own choices. I've double checked what I already knew um, just to clarify the grey and to turn it a little bit more black and white for you. So, right, at the risk of sounding like a smart ass, right? The literal definition of a hobby is it's something that you do for leisure, for pleasure, for relaxation in your own time, in your spare time. Um, cake making is a lovely hobby. I'm sure something we can all agree in is that most cake businesses do begin as, as a hobby. Um, and then once word spreads about your talent, uh, we get offered money for it. So where do we cross that line? Um, there's a few different things to consider. According to the taxman in the UK, um, you need to register as self-employed um, once your turnover from all self-employment, so if you've got other craft businesses as well, once the turnover goes above a thousand pounds between April and April. Um, note that word turnover, it's not profit. So a thousand pound turnover is, um, it, it works out at 19 pound 23 a week. That's about the materials cost of a six inch cake, isn't it? So you must register as self-employed if you average one six inch cake per week or equivalent and you get the recipient to cover costs um as well according to the food standards food standards agency you must register your home as a food business if you are supplying food for consumption outside the home on a regular and organized basis that is quite open to interpretation the main thing is they don't care whether you're taking money or not you can be supplying for a charity once a week. If it's regular, if it's organised, um, you may well still need to register. The only way you can be absolutely sure, if you're not sure if, you, if you're doing enough to have to register, is by picking up the phone and answering them. Because each local authority, you know, they vary on how strict they are. And it might, might not even be authority. It might be each individual EHO might have a different opinion over what, what construes regular and organised. So... Call them and confirm it. Right. To me, you might argue with me here because this is my opinion. So feel free to argue. Right. I'm open to that. But if you're supplying to people you don't know for money, surely that makes you a business. Like that customer is going to see you as a business because they're paying you for a product. It doesn't matter if you've said to them you're only covering your costs. They're giving you money to supply something. So they're going to see you as a business. I would have thought. Um. Right. So... This stuff that I've just told you, it might not be what, what you want to hear. I'm sorry, but I'm not here to mollycoddle you. I'm here to give you the facts and to help you to decide for yourself, right? I don't want you to get into trouble. You might not give a shit if you get into trouble, and that's fine. Um, it's got nothing to do with me or anything else, what you choose to do with the facts, right? But now you know the facts, make your own choices, right? Don't come for me, right? It's, it's your decision. <sighs> I'm here to give you the facts, right? So feel free to add your own comments on this, but please do be polite about it. I know it's a, it's an emotional issue. Those of us that have registered, you know, and you've got people saying, oh, I'm only a hobby baker, you know, so I only charged a hundred pound. And yeah, it gets a bit emotional, but please do remember that a lot of people are so early in the in their cake business journey, they just don't recognize where that line is drawn. I hope that's given you a little bit more clarity. It's not absolutely black and white, and it does depend on um, on exactly how much you're doing. And how do you know that you're going to average one six inch cake per week? You know, it, make your own choices. I've given you the information. Just be polite. If you're going to add to this conversation, please do be polite. Don't make me block your ass. Right. Thank you.